Okay guys, welcome to another video. It's currently 2 a.m. and I'm gonna take you guys to one of the best late night food restaurants to eat in Bangkok. Currently going with these on the motorbike and we're gonna go for some food. Mostly it's a local Thai restaurant, not too many foreigners will go here. You have to go to Rama 4. A bit of traffic here, a few tuk-tuks. Okay guys, so we've finally made it to the restaurant called Chuan Po Chana. As you can see, just a little restaurant on the side of the road, really popular with Thai locals. Not too many foreigners here. It's on Rama 4 Road, you can see the Esso garage right over there. Just down the road from McDonald's and the Esso garage and it's literally open like all hours you can see like they have the seating area out here they're preparing the food already they have the kitchen over there and the restaurant in here it's like it's always full of people no matter what time it is so it's 2 30 a.m now so i'm gonna go in and order some food We've got a table in the restaurant now and this place normally stays open till about 5 a.m so it's one, of, it's one of like the best local places, restaurants to come and grab food. I will put the menu up on the screen now. The good thing about this place as well, it's got all the menu in Thai and in English. So you can just point and order what you want. And also they have pictures further on in the menu as well. You can see they have like everything pretty much, seafood, chicken, pork, beef all different kinds of dishes, so soup, everything, like literally all the main Thai dishes you can think of they near enough have, so it's a really good place to come after drinking, want to show you guys like the best late night food places to go and eat, so this is one of them. So the first dish we got is duck soup with lemon, check it out, it looks so nice. So we'll give it a try. This is called fuck, no? Char, fuck. So we'll try, we've got the duck. I'm not sure actually what this vegetable is in English. Duck, so this is the duck. I actually love duck guys, but the soup tastes really nice. The broth tastes really, just so good. soft actually it's just like as soon as you chew it it falls apart in the mouth so good guys like i said this is the place you have to come for the late night thai food to get like good food it's cheap as you've seen from the menu like 100 120 baht for most things so good i cannot even explain like how tender and soft the dough is. The next dish we've got is yum salad, fish spicy is what it's called in English on the menu. So check it out, look how nice it looks. We've got the different types of fish, some chili, some onion, a bit of everything in there, some sauce too. So we'll give it a try. Get a bit of everything on there. So guys, it's got like a really nice taste to it because the fish is like deep fried obviously, really crunchy, salty. It's got the bones in but you can eat the bones because they're so soft and crunchy. So you can eat the bones, swallow the bones, everything. The onions, chili, give it a bit of kick. I like this one a lot as well. Okay guys, so this like fish kind of salad, what we would call in English, if you want to order this in Thai, it's called Yom Ha Salad. This next one that I haven't tried yet, that I'm gonna try, it's called Ya Kum Chien Kai Ken. It's Chinese sausage basically, and it's like a salad as well. We've got a bit of cucumber, a bit of uh, tomato, the Chinese sausage in there, in some like sweet sauce, I'm guessing. And this one is called Soup Bet. 
Bet in Thai is duck. So basically a duck soup. It's got all the different vegetables in there as well. So if you want to order it in Thai, that's how you order it. But let me give this a uh, Chinese sausage one a try. This one is Yong Kun Chien Kai Kem. The Chinese sausage one, I haven't tried it yet, so I'll give it a try. We'll get some uh, tomato on there. Some of the sauce, the Chinese sausage, a bit of chili, a bit of onion. Mm. I don't know how to explain the taste of this one. It's like a bit sweet, a bit sour, a bit spicy, a lot of different mix of flavors in there. Those who have tried Chinese sausage will already know what it tastes like. So really good actually, a nice like mix of flavors in the mouth. The fish one I tried before, the uh, pasalid, it's very salty. It's like very salty and spicy because you've got the chili onion and the fish obviously is so salty. And it always comes with some rice soup. So guys, Kai Kem in Thai basically means salted egg. So they've got a like boiled salted egg in there. So we'll get that with a bit of the rice soup. That's how they're eating it. Mm. Very salty. Very, very salty, but with the rice soup, it's so nice. With these kind of like local Thai dishes, guys, you might see the menu and not want to try because of the way it looks, but it's like got such a nice mix of flavors in the mouth, it's definitely worth trying. So, if you want to come to this restaurant, they have many of the basic Thai dishes as well, but I recommend trying something new. Like, not too many foreigners would probably order this kind of thing, so definitely worth ordering and trying it. I definitely recommend coming to this restaurant to try you guys. I've been here a few times late at night, like after a few nights out. But like, I'm always the only foreigner in here. I obviously come with my Thai friends. But I definitely recommend, I'll put the location, I definitely recommend like trying to come here. Like I said, you can point to the menu, it's in English. Like really easy to order. You have beer, you have this like great food, like really cheap. So for me, it's the best late night restaurant. I've actually ate it in Bangkok. I love to come here after a night out. Here and the last place we ate in the market on one of the previous videos, there's also good. But here's just nice because it's inside, you've got the air con. You can also sit outside as well on the side of the street if you want. They've got a nice little area there. But for me, this is one of the better late night restaurants I've been to in Bangkok for sure. I'll try and show you in my hands. Look. Look how soft it is. It just like falls apart. It literally like, you chew it just like melts to pieces in your mouth, like so with this duck soup. It's the first time I've ever had this duck soup, but I would definitely come and eat it again for sure. So nice, all the food. Just look how colourful. This one's very salty though, salty fish. And this Chinese one as well, if you eat the egg it's really salty too, but this is kind of like sweet, sour, spicy, such a nice mix of flavors. Mm. And guys as well, in this restaurant they give you like this little trolley. With some like water and ice. Also you can order beer. As you can see the table across there, I've ordered some Heineken. So you just like top up your glass with the ice, fill it with Heineken. So this is why I love this place. You can like drink and eat all night. Like if you come with friends, many people just come here, like local people, they'll just come with a group of friends. They'll sit in here for a few hours, just enjoy eating and drinking. 
like, like I showed you the menu, you guys can see you can do the conversion rates like super cheap, affordable. Like you can spend hours in here just ordering different menus, trying different things. Definitely recommend coming here. Like I said, best late night restaurant for me in Bangkok for sure. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. So the total for all the food you saw, two bottles of water cost 390 baht. So I think that's pretty reasonable for this time of night. Like you get fresh food cooked in the restaurant. You can drink beers. I've actually drank too many beers, so I didn't order any beers here. But yeah, like, like I said, super reasonable. Definitely recommend coming to check out this place. Oh, I'll put the location in the description. Just come here, order some food late at night after your night out, and you will definitely eat some of the best Thai food here late night in Bangkok.